what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for fast and furious 9 aka fast 9 just got out of a press screening watching it uh this film is directed by justin lynn and it stars vin diesel john cena michelle rodriguez tyrese gibson jordana brewster charlize theron is back and we have Ludacris back and that's really all i'm gonna say about the cast because again i don't want to get into any spoilers but cardi b's in it too so just shout out to cardi b i guess uh but anyway Fast and Furious 9 is following Dom who is on basically let's say he's retired at this point and him and Letty are taking care of his son but of course living off the grid they know that danger is always lurking around them in this peaceful horizon and this time that threat will force Dom to confront the sins of his past to save those he loves most his crew soon comes together to stop a world shattering plot by the most skilled assassin and high performance driver they've ever encountered dom's forsaken brother aka jacob played by john cena now the biggest question mark going into this film was how are they going to rationalize and make jacob feel like he is someone who can easily just join this scenario because neither dom nor mia or Letty, for that matter, since Letty is revealed to have known about Jacob's existence. None of them mentioned this guy. None of them. None of these three people mentioned Jacob. Now, we were all, me and several others, who actually are, I'll say, just interested in coherent storytelling. How are you going to explain this? And I will say, Jacob's inclusion is rationalized in an acceptable manner. Still, obviously, it's pretty clear Jacob was not someone who was planned from the start. It's already clear. But the way it's done, it does not feel shoehorned. It does not feel overly illogical. It does not feel out of the out of the realm of possibility by the time everything is explained regarding Dom and what happened with Jacob when they were kids back in the year 1989 to be specific. The film does a lot of flashing back between the modern times that we're in with them following them trying to stop Jacob who has now teamed up with Cypher from the last film played by Charlize Theron once again who does an amazing job as always. I would honestly just to go off off topic real quick the chemistry between John Cena and Charlize Theron in this movie when they're in scenes together I could just watch those two interact with each other for many more minutes when they were sharing scenes of their dialogue together. It was just very captivating at times. Just the energy they're bringing in those scenes. John Cena, overall, his performance, John Cena in and of itself, I'll say he's a great actor anyway, given we know where he comes from if you're a fan of professional wrestling. He delivers in this role. Seeing him in this role actually kind of makes me even more upset that i'll probably never get to see him turn heel on a wrestling program but this movie fast nine my honest thoughts on it would be that i'll say it's one of the lesser ones that i've enjoyed i would also say it's one of the weaker made ones in terms of just all the technical things like coherent storytelling uh the absurdity of it is a little bit more absurd than any of the other ones and you would people would argue that fast eight kind of broke that threshold no fast nine takes it to a whole nother level they're going to space now and just some of the the stunts in these movies they're breathtaking to watch they're, these movies are visual spectacles at this point and i feel like that's one of the things that makes this film suffer it's more interested in the visual carnage that will have you just in awe the movie is never boring uh Justin Lin keeps the film very energetic. He directs this film wonderfully. You will be on the edge of your seat. You will be glued to the screen watching all of this carnage unfold in front of you. There is not ever a second I feel like you have to breathe in between once things start to happen. The action starts and it does not stop until the credits are rolling. I'm That's honestly what the film felt like. There may have been moments in between where they're sitting down for like five minutes, but then they're right back at it. it this movie is so high octane it's so in your face it's giving you everything that you probably would want to see from a fast and furious film and i can appreciate that these movies have successfully been able to transition away from just that street racing dynamic into these full-fledged heist films now we know at the core of these films and the main theme of this is family for dom toretto specifically i would argue that this film in particular adds an extra layer to why family is so important to him with 
the backstory that we get regarding Jacob and himself and their uh, father, even the way everything is explained, it kind of adds that extra layer and it makes everything a little bit more clear and understanding in ways as to why Dom is so family oriented, given what happened to him and his brother when they were just basically teens, preteens, young adults. But the movie overall, I just think it was an honest six out of 10. I don't think it broke anything. It didn't do anything new for the franchise. It wasn't that, oh my gosh, wow, I need to see this again or anything like that. I feel like the script was lacking in ways just as far as being coherent, I guess. There's some things in the in the script that I know that people will just be baffled at. Might want to argue that it's convoluted concerning a certain character that ends up being important again after we thought he was put out of commission. So that's all I'll say about that. The performances from everyone, though, they're top notch. They knock it out of the park. Vin Diesel does his thing as the Vin Diesel. I honestly think that he's a very dry actor, but somehow he doesn't give bad performances. That's my two cents on Vin Diesel. <laughs> Everyone else, they're more energetic than he is. I want to say if Vin Diesel was in these movies by himself, they would not be the same. Because I, I do think he's a very dry as an actor. He's not bad, but he's he's dry. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez, John Cena, Charlize Theron, everyone, they knock it out of the park. You are already invested in these characters, so you know what you're getting into. And again, the action and everything that you come to expect, it's all delivered in the best way possible. I just think that the movie is highly absurd. In a lot of in a lot of regards and in just it's in respect to how it wants to constantly defy laws of physics and perform these unimaginable stunts. But the movie itself, I'll give it an honest six out of ten. I enjoyed it. I will say it's one of the weakest in the franchise just because of the fact that it wants to be more absurd than anything. It wants to be more absurd with its stunts than anything compared to any of the other ones. That's just my honest opinion on it. I enjoyed it. I think fans of the franchise will enjoy it. I think that fans of the franchise might rate it higher than I will, of course, obviously. I am not saying I'm not a fan of these films, but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. But in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.